Caleb Duff's, Duff's father said that about a month ago, he complained about that teacher being verbally abu abusive. He said the assistant principal told him that he would investigate, but nothing came of it. Then Caleb said that yesterday that behavior escalated, and he believes it would have been much worse, but one student got between him and the teacher. Caleb Duff didn't want to go to school today because he says yesterday school administrators couldn't assure him that his fourth period teacher wouldn't be back in class. I miss worried he's going to do it again. Duff said he was holding a box of donuts another student brought to class when suddenly the teacher became angry with him. He came around that corner vicious. He said the teacher yanked the chair from under him. He didn't really have to pull my chair. Duff said the teacher thumped him in the chest with a stack of papers, he grabbed my then grabbed him by the started. arm and pulled him across the classroom. He down, Duff he said he managed to pull free. Room. He said a classmate stood between him and the teacher and confronted the instructor. Um, you can't be doing that. If he wouldn't have jumped up, then it would have kept on going. Two students went with Caleb to the office to tell the assistant principal what happened. Duff's father got a voice message from the principal telling him about the confrontation at school. Mr. Um, Grabbed his chair and grabbed his arm. And he told the father someone was treating Caleb's injuries, scratches, and bruises he got during the scuffle. We will definitely be investigating this. Yeah, tonight school officials say that teacher is suspended with pay. Duff's father actually went to complete police with the complaint. After that incident, an officer came over and spoke with Duff at the ER while a doctor, while he waited for a doctor to take a look at his injuries. Police tell us that they talk with him there and they plan to talk to the other students uh, when they get the opportunity. Erica. All right, Ken, thank you. Live.